it will be saved now my drawing to is opened it is open using the new road template now what i am going to do is i am creating some settings or i am making some settings so that my civil 3d interface and your civil 3d interface become identical so here what i want is i want to press your shift key on your keyboard press your shift key on your keyboard then right click click your mouse button right click the mouse button shift key plus right click then you got or snap settings click here then you will get something like this you then uncheck this option or snap on uncheck move on to this snap and grid should be unchecked polar tracking should be unchecked object snap will be already unchecked it is okay to have these things checked but main thing is to uncheck these two things in 3d object snap make sure it is also unchecked dynamic input make sure this is this one is okay to have but there is another settings to be changed i will tell you next so after setting all those things you click ok now you just type some commands you put your mouse cursor here somewhere in the middle then you type some commands so if your commands are typing on the command bar that means your dynamic inputs are turned off so to ensure that or to change the dynamic input mode you have to press f12 on your keyboard so the modern modern laptops you have to find f12 key by pressing function or fn key plus f12 so make sure that what kind of keys are to be pressed to get the f12 key on your keyboard in my laptop i have to press function key plus f12 so in your laptop or computer just make sure what are the keys to type to get the f12 uh, function so what i am going to do is i am pressing f12 on my keyboard so nothing will be happen but when you type you will see the typing is happening the other cursor is there so if you press f12 again you will see the typing is happening on the command bar so i want the typing to be happen on the command bar that means your f12 should be turned off or the dynamic inputs should be turned off now that is the uh, main options what we have to uh, be set to synchronize my screen with your screen in terms of civil 3d so you don't have to save the drawing in this moment but keep the drawing open in the next video i will tell you how to start a project with civil 3d for, for design when you have selected the site for our design what you do at the first so once you have finalized the trial alignments and everything as i told you in highway design lectures what you do is you are going to survey that area a survey will be a surveyor will be going to that site and see he or she will be surveying in that area we call it for a for we call it a doing a topo survey the surveyor will get the features in that area as well as the elevations in by the means of points so the surveyor goes there and taking elevations as points and also he is taking the uh, objects or features in that area